Hey everybody, Steve with Technospeak here. Uh, we are in our uh, Technospeak shop and uh, today I wanted to show you when Technospeak designs a hybrid lighting system for you that is a combination of a panelized lighting system and a wireless lighting system, how exactly that works. So uh, first a few parts and pieces. Over here we have a uh, couple of wired keypads right here, uh, each with a variety of different scenes. If we can see those right here. Uh, connected with your standard uh, RS-45 uh, communication cable. It's also uh, used for shade control. Uh, it goes by a lot of different names. Some people call it Belden cable. Some people call it uh, control yellow cable or Lutron uh, green cable. Um, as long as it's 18-2 shielded and 22-2 twisted, doesn't really matter what you call it. Uh, that's the kind of uh, uh, cable that's used here. Um, here is, uh, if I back up a little bit, you can see this is one of our larger uh, control for um, lighting panels. Um, starting from the bottom here, this is our uh, power supply in silver for all of our keypads. Right above that is our Ethernet bus gateway which translates signals from RS-485 communication to Ethernet communication. Above that is one of our network switches. Just about all Control 4 components have a network connection, so those are required in the panels as well. And then above that, we have two of our lighting modules. The one at the bottom is an adaptive phase module that can handle forward or reverse dimming. Uh, and the one above that is our LED module that can work, uh, send out a 0 to 10 volt communication, but can also work with external, trans external transformers as well. Uh, on the right hand side, up on our lighting, or electrical board that is, uh, we have our, uh, one of our wireless keypads, which uh, if we can back up here is not plugged into anything except for power. So that's straight 120 voltage going on right in here. Uh, and uh, as you can see, it's equivalent in look and feel to our wired keypad. Uh, the only difference between this one and our wired keypad is this one is also a Zigbee node. Uh, because it is line voltage, it has a Zigbee radio in it and is responsible for establishing the Zigbee mesh in a Control 4 controlled home so that uh, wireless devices and other Zigbee devices can communicate well with each other. So what I wanted to show you today is how the wired and wireless systems communicate uh, together seamlessly. So. First thing I'm going to do is uh, hit my ceiling can scene, very simple scene here. So I don't know if you heard that, but that's the lighting module turning it on. We have visual confirmation that the ceiling cans are on. Uh, each one of these little light bulbs represents a different room. It's really just for training and demo purposes. Um, so we can see we have that visual feed pack that that scene turned on. The uh, LED turned from blue to green over on this side without us really doing anything can also see that this also turned from blue to green. <coughs> Excuse me, because these two scenes are, or these two keypads rather, are tied together uh, in our programming. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the scene off from this particular location. Okay. And as you can see, the LED or the uh, the light turned off, so we have visual confirmation that that, that light turned off. All of our LEDs turned to blue here, and all of our LEDs turned blue here. Okay, so again, seamless integration between wired and wireless uh, lighting controls. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do an entertainment scene. Entertainment scene's got a few more loads, as you can see. Uh, we have these loads dimmed at various levels to simulate kind of a living room, dining room, kitchen area where something like pendants are going to be on at you know only five or ten percent, but there might be some under cabinet lights that are on a little bit more. Um, again, we have uh, visual confirmation that that particular scene has been activated. Uh, and then on this side, we have that same communication. Okay, looking over there, we see all of our lights are on. Okay, so we're going to turn that scene off here. Okay, and you can see all those scenes went off. Okay, and we have that communication here. Uh, all blue lights straight across the uh, all the different keypads, letting us know that all of our scenes are off. Same goes over here. Okay, we can also activate the scene from the wireless keypad. So let's do that same ceiling can again, just the one uh, can above. Okay, and then we can turn it off. Okay, see how it's still on. We can turn it off over here. And we can see that turn off. Okay, 
So, so really, uh, as far as the control four system is concerned, it doesn't care whether it's a wired or wireless keypad. As long as it's programmed to control the same scenes, uh, it will control them seamlessly. Uh, and that is our demonstration for today. Once again, uh, when TechnoSpeak designs a hybrid lighting system for you, this is what they're talking about. It is to, to balance the aesthetics that a panelized lighting system solves by being able to control multiple loads with just a single gain box uh, with the communication protocol uh, via Zigbee that's required for Control Force systems to work well together. Thank you.